فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل بالربا الخير أحسب الناس أن يتركوا أن يقولوا آمنا وهم لا يفتنون ولقد فتن الذين من قبلهم فليعلمن الله الذين صدقوا وليعلمن الكاذبين سورة العنكبوت الله says does man think do you think that it's sufficient for you to say we believe and you will not be tested in fact we have tested those before you as well in order to determine and distinguish who from amongst you are truthful and who are false in their claim people say sometimes why i'm a believer why do i have so many tests why do I have so many difficulties? Why do I have so many hardship? I can tell you why. Because you are in the school. You are in the exam room. You have undertaken that Allah is one. You have believed that Allah is one. And you believe this is the messenger. Allah says, okay, come. You really believe? We're going to test you. So how will we test you? You believe Allah is the sustainer? You believe Allah is the curer? You believe Allah is the... All wise, the all knowledgeable, you believe he is the Lord of the worlds? Okay. So when we make you sick or ill, may Allah grant us cure, say Amin. When we make you sick or ill, we want to see what you do. Will you employ methods that are against what we have taught? Or you will do that which is permissible. You go to the doctor, you may want to read some Quran, you may want to look after yourself. There is something called Mu'awwidat. Mu'awwidat meaning those chapters of the Quran, whereby if you were to read them, you would be protected from the devil and his progeny. You need to read them morning and evening. It is like medication. If you have high cholesterol, and the doctor tells you, you need five milligrams of Cresta every single day. At this time, what will happen if you miss it? If you stop it, your cholesterol levels will go high. The same applies if Allah tells you to protect yourself from the devil, you need to read the last two surahs of the Quran or you need to include with it Ayatul Kursi, which is a verse of the Quran in Surah Al Baqarah. And if you don't do that, don't blame anyone when you become ill or sick. Remember this, it's a test from Allah. You need patience in order to endure.